for many South Africans is that they have to queue in the cold just to fetch clean water. This is a reality specifically for residents, perhaps a microcosm of what's going on in the country, residents of Social Angovia. Residents continue to experience water problems. They've been facing shortages for weeks. This We are here in Sochengwe Block H where residents have been uh, laying complaints or rather the, the municipal office have been laying complaints about the water crisis that is taking place here in Sochengwe where uh, residents or rather uh, people who are living in Sochengwe didn't have water for about two to three weeks. So this year, uh, according to the, the municipal office, it, it has been believed that the run water has started with uh, their recent um, um, maintenance where they they are maintaining a, in a, a water treatment that is supplying in social movement so back back you can see there are baggage where individuals or rather residents of the this community are waiting for tanks so that they can fill they can fill their buckets so that they can make a living since water crisis has been negatively impacting them throughout the uh, the past three weeks so Shanguve is a local township in the Houten Swanee region it has an estimated population of 150 people and it is mostly known for its color nation. So Shanguve is big as it has different tribes and styles of living. The beautiful so-called color nation community has recently been affected by the unpleasing maneuver of water crisis pandemic where the local residents are expected to spend weeks with no normal tap water. This started when the rent water implemented their yearly or annually maintenance on their Sekerebos water plant treatment, where it supplies to many townships in the Twane regions. Sochanguve, as a result, finds itself as the only township that is mostly affected by this issue. Many people or residents believe that it would have been better if the municipality provided a community to prepare them for this issue. Our task team tried to contact the local councillors and the mayor's office, but unfortunately we couldn't reach out to them. Later the 20 mayor Mr. Plinks addressed the media saying that rainwater didn't communicate with them or with their office. A serious problem with rainwater in the sense that they do maintenance work at the last minute, they don't notify us and they don't share their telemetry levels with us. So we don't, we're not seeing the levels of their reservoirs and so we can't take preventative action. We find out about problems as they occur. Water issue later went extra mild by affecting local students from the lower grades and in the higher institutions such as Tuani University of Technology, Sochangove North and South Campus, and the Tuani North College. As the Tswane or Pretoria region is dominating the market or the economic and business district. This issue even escalated to affect the business sector of Sochangove, where business owners are expected to pay more so that their services or businesses could run. And these water issues critically affected them in terms of profits and business-wise. As you know, water is life. Right? So this thing I'm making, I think, too much. Most especially, I'm not excited to know 
We have to retouch the money we hire people who are a lamb somewhere so that their business is going to run. So, and then we will get to the day of the the day of 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 the day the health workers in Soshanguve even had to deal with many infections and illnesses due to the unavailability or the shortage of water in Soshanguve. This raises concerns with uh, infections and the number of people being sick due to the water or the unpurified water that they had. I think health-wise, uh the main concern will be hygiene, also people taking their medication. It will affect them a lot because water is very essential, especially um, if, if you don't have running water. Firstly, you don't have flushing water. That causes a lot of infections, um, especially to ladies, because ladies normally, uh, for them, it will cause a lot of infections. Um, uh, more, another thing is um, we'll end up having the diarrhea and so forth because of if we don't get clean water that will cause uh, a, a high number of people who, who will be dehydrated and it's going to be a tough one for small children as this issue mainly affected students from local, our test team decided to conduct an interview with one of the students from Tuan University of Technology in the faculty of ICT, Mzalala Perez, whom is also a political representative in the campus. Yo, as a student, what uh, is a, is a, as in life generally, before I explain, the effect that I got as a student, you know, water is it's, it's a need. We need water every day uh, to do all the things that you need to go to class or before you go to class. Uh, like number one, having to bath, having to eat. Uh, so as a student, I need to bath. There's no I can be comfortable going to class without bathing, going to class without eating. And also, there is thirsty. Sometimes I need water to drink. So as a student, uh, having this water crisis is uh, it's affecting my academic life because also, even on campus, they are not postponing classes just because there is no water. So it's affecting my academic life when I'm referring to you on campus. So looking to the uh, that uh, many people from the social group residents, uh, social group community saying that uh, they should have uh, maybe been something that has been done, maybe providing tanks or maybe a community alerting them about this issue. Since this issue, issue just came I, just in the blink of an eye, what are the things that you think maybe the, the municipality or, or rather rainwater should uh, should do in order to maybe minimize the impact, the negative impact into uh, the residents? As you know, as community at Soshango, there are rates that are being paid for such events. So basically the government or the municipality itself uh, should start providing our community with water because uh, rates are kept being paid every day. And then also on campus, what can be done to uh, actually reduce this matter is, uh, you see, I think the water that the campus is depending on is the same water that the community is depending on. So what they can do is number one, they can try to have their own backup system. I mean, it's just like uh, boreholes or external boreholes or a lot of tanks that can supply 
uh, students with water daily. Oh, just looking to uh, a social movie is uh, this big. Do you think that uh, maybe they can try or uh, uh, would they have money to do uh, everything? Yes, they will have money to do everything because as you see, Sosangove is big. Uh, it simple means that a lot of people residing in Sosangove and they are residing there legally. And having a house in a township, you know there are rates that you pay for water, uh, that beans and other uh, uh, sewage system. So they can use that money effectively to do the right thing. So, uh, just looking on to the political side, uh, since there are other pa- uh, political parties saying that this is a, maybe a, a result of a, a, these other political, or rather the ruling party in Swani, just a, eating a funds from tenders. That's why you tend to have maybe a, many issues such as a water crisis and others in these areas. Uh, what's your take uh, since we have uh, uh, elections next year and we do have these negative e- events or rather uh, negative issues that are still uh, affecting our communities? I think uh, w- w- when it comes to the political view of this, uh, the devil you know is better than the one you don't know. So I, I, I mean, uh, we are in this crisis while we have this ruling part which I cannot mention but uh, let's say another party come and things become worse that is to validate my statement or the devil that you don't know it's 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 much different we 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 we, we actually used to this because it's been a while uh, sometimes water will go for two three days sometimes a week or weeks so i don't know Kuri, is this uh, resulting from uh, the ruling party uh, using the money that they were supposed to give us water for any other events or what. So I cannot really, really say that the party that is ruling uh, in, the, in, in, in our community per se is the one responsible for this. This will also help the residents of social movement in gaining or developing their place socially, economically, and geographically, and also try to develop their recreational facilities and vegetation. The Rand Water Board is expected to meet up with the provincial government of Gauteng, and as well as other stakeholders that are in relation to water and sanitation. This scheduled meeting is to focus on the decision and resolving of the water crisis issues that are taking place in and around Gauteng. This will ensure that individuals or rather community members have a green and safe water and they don't have undecided decisions or undecided moves on whether to drink water and not sure if the water is purified or not.